Hey y'all, I'm trying to get this. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm trying to get this picture of this dude. He's walking. Do you see this dude down here? I'm just gonna run and get this real quick, see if I can catch it. Just see if I can catch it. I'm running, y'all, because this is the tallest man in America, in, not in America, but in Africa. He's right here. I just want to get a picture. Did y'all see this brother walking right here? It's just, I had to just run and get it. This is not a holiday. This is not anything. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, man, can I get a picture of thee? Yeah. My man, look at this, everybody. Tallest man in Africa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at that, man. Y'all see that? I had to get this picture. Yeah, brother, beautiful. Sante Sana, Kaka. Hey, my brother, Sante Sana, man. Tallest brother in Africa. You see that? I had to get that for y'all, y'all. Hey, look. Tallest brother in Africa, in the world, right here. All right, so look, I just had to stop. I saw that, and there's no, there's no holiday or anything like that. Hold on one second. Let me turn the camera around. Okay, yeah, everybody. Yeah, I had to get that. I had to chase that brother and get that picture. I got to send it to my kids, let them see it. And there's no holiday. There's nothing going on. But that brother just, um, for whatever reason, I don't know, but he just walking down the street. No holiday, nothing. Amazing. I've seen it before. I don't know if it's the same brother, but I know that I've seen it. And this is the first time that I was able to catch it. And I almost missed it, but I wanted you guys to see it. I'm just driving down a normal street, regular day, and this is uh, rush hour traffic. You know, rush hour traffic right now. So, just wanted you guys to see, you know, <laughs> it's, it's those kind of things. I gotta tell you, it's those kind of things that bring a little joy to me, bring a little, you know, lift my spirits a little bit. Because, wow. And you see, he, he performed. I wish the children were with me. Take this out, show this to your children. See, these images we don't get of Africa. The propaganda gives us a very distorted view of what other people in the world, what, how they live, what life is like for them. It's a very distorted view. I was talking to a guy today from Saudi Arabia. And he was telling me the exact same thing. He was telling me that, uh, I asked him a question about Saudi Arabia, and he said, no, it's not, it's not what they show you, camels and, 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 and you know, caves and sand. He said, no. And, and me, I, I know that having traveled here to Africa, I know that it's not only those things, but it's the same System. It's a global system that uh, perpetuates itself as the modern, advanced, civilized society. And everybody else is left in the Stone Age, never advanced. They have no civilization. They have no advancement in technology. These images are very, very damaging to the minds of our children. Because what they do is they tell our children a message without conveying it directly, without saying it directly. It puts a message in the minds of our children that... The individuals, the people who have the intellect, the people who have the scientific knowledge and the information are the people who don't look like you and me. The W's. And that, that we have to change. So show your kids that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And then as I was walking back, you saw, I, I think I've shown you this a long time ago. Uh, high rise. Very, very, very nice area here. And uh, just very beautiful. In fact, Look, I gotta tell you, it's just beautiful. I'm gonna turn the camera around because even where I stop, I want you to see just how beautiful it is. This is a very beautiful area. I love driving through here. Hold on one second. All right. I don't know if you can see in the background there. You see the palm trees? Let me get away from the window. You see, this is just a very, very beautiful area. 
I mean it's just a treat to drive through it's a treat yeah I mean I just love it and, and I tell you all of the challenges it's a high rise there I've shown you this one before all of the challenges all of the challenges that exist here in the, in the motherland continent of Africa and specifically in Tanzania because I can speak about those personally I can speak about my experiences my interactions with the people all of oh now here's another amazing thing I'm so glad I stopped here and I'm on my way to a meeting by the way I'm very I got to get going but look when this car goes by do you see that you can still see that you can still see that I wish my kids were here you see that brother on the horse just taking his time going down the street fantastic and interestingly that's what the brother was telling me from Saudi Arabia he was saying that there are camels are not around the camels are far away but he was telling me camels are very expensive so okay I just wanted to let you know it's just the information again that we get it's just it's just it's just not true propaganda and we have to put out our own propaganda as I've told you on many occasions propaganda is not negative propaganda can be very positive when used positively for the benefit of a particular group of people people that look like me and you we got to do that so okay I'm gonna turn this camera around one more time all right everybody all right so all right now you you can kind of see you can kind of see uh I'm enjoying it. I'm, even though you have some challenges, I told you I'm going to talk to you about that. You got challenges everywhere. Uh, in a capitalist system, a global capitalist system, where the, the individuals who dominate the world uh, don't look like me, the W, the West. It's a very harsh system. It's a system designed to create duality, meaning you're going to have people with uh, resources and people without. And the people without resources actually have more resources than the people who. Uh, are in charge. They have to convince you and me and people like us that we don't have resources, that we don't have money, that we don't have uh, intellect and technology and the, the uh, ability and the potential to uh, harness our resources and, and, and increase the value of them. They tell us that. They teach us that. They do it, they do it through their movies, their magazines, the radios, their, their, their billboards, everything. But that's just simply not true, and that chance, that time has arrived where the continuation of that falsehood is, is going to be impossible, and that's impossible, and that's why you're seeing what you're seeing in the area. So look, everybody, I gotta go. You're seeing what you're seeing in the world, where it's coming to an end. Okay, I gotta go. I just thought I'd show you that. I love you all. Ooh, 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 ooh.